Um, <clears throat> I think we're recording. Yes. Okay, so I have a haul for you. I feel like it's been forever since I've done a haul, but I have an Ulta haul, and actually some of the uh, stuff I got is first-time products for me that I've never used, but I'm excited to because I've watched them on YouTube over and over, and now I get to, you know, um, try them out and see how I like them. So my hair is wet because I just got out of the shower, and I'm just doing this really quick before I go to bed, so here we go. I wanted to open all my stuff, but I think it's like really weird to open stuff when you're gonna do a haul and then you have stuff that's like already been used that's weird, so. Anyways, here we go. So, <clears throat> this is the bag. And I was really actually kind of bummed because I always get the Ulta magazine in the mail and they always have like coupons in the front and I didn't think I was gonna go into Ulta and I did. I really wish I would have had that coupon because I could have saved $5, but whatever. Alright, so the first thing I got is this CoverGirl Simply Powder, um, it's supposed to be like foundation, but a powder foundation. So it says, covers like a liquid with lightweight freshness of a powder, helps even skin tone and gives a beautiful finish. So it says it stays for hours. Um, this is in the color 520 and it's called Creamy Natural. I don't know if my camera will focus. Probably not because it's retarded. Um, but yeah, so that's what it looks like and I'm excited to try that. First like powder foundation, whatever. And then I got this lemony hand sanitizer and I liked how big the sanitizer was. This set, ugh. This sanitizer was because usually the ones you get at Bath & Body are like half the size and they last like, I use like so much of it. So it was a little nanny cents. So yeah, the lemony one smells good. I like how it smells, smells clean. So uh, for my purse. Um, and then they were having this deal that was like two for six dollars if you can pick like certain things the Ulta brand. And so I got, uh, first let me show you this. I got this nail lacquer and taupe on a rope. And that's the color. It's got kind of a goldish underlying shimmer to it, but um, I really, it looks really pretty on. So I'm gonna try that. It's a brownish color, which I think is fall, like taupe and brown, and like that's fall to me, and like burgundy and you know those kind of colors. Orange is too, but I'm more the burgundy, the darker earth tone colors. So I got. This NYX lip gloss, which I'm really excited about. It's my first one ever, which is crazy. But I'm wearing it on my lips right now. And um, I really liked the color. The color is so pretty. I loved the shimmer in it. And it's like a... How can I describe this? It's like a... Almost like a dark beach sandy look, like when the sand's in the sun. And I love it. Um, it's called sponge cake and it smells like a cupcake and of course you got the signature bow on the front and um, I'll do a swatch for you but I really like this color so that's what it looks like on but um, that's obviously a lot more dramatic than when you spread it over your lips but oh I love it. it smells like cupcake so I'm really excited about this and then with the two for six deal that I was talking to you about I wanted to try a lip liner that would go with this. So if you look at those two colors, they're almost identical. Let me turn that around. And this one is the Ulta lip liner in the color Flesh. And um, I actually haven't opened it yet. Let me, let me open it really quick and let's see if it matches the swatch on my um, hand here. I can get it off. All right. I love like new pencils. I don't like to break them like with when you do a swatch, but whatever. I'll just do it really quick. Oh my god, it's like almost identical. How cool. I wanted it to really match. I don't know if you guys can see that color. I wanted it to really match the color of my um, lip gloss. I'm so excited. Yay! Because I didn't get to try it. I just kind of matched it up into the up on the color on top, which sometimes that's never true, but Yay, I'm so excited. So I got the color Flesh and Contour Lip Liner Pencil and my NYX Sponge Cake. Yay! So I'm really excited about that. Oh my god, I can't believe how like identical that is. Cool. And then the last two products I got are something I've been wanting to try. I'm going to fix my hair here, sorry. 
forever and ever and ever. So I actually bought one for me and my sister, and I was like, okay, I get to pick one. The one that smells the best, I'll keep. <laughs> so they're the, I don't know how to pronounce this, Eso, Eso, Eos, Eos, I'm just going to say Eos, Lip Balms. And this one's in Honeysuckle, Honeydew, and this one's in Strawberry Sorbet. So I'm really excited for these because everybody has these. Everybody's like, oh, they work so good, blah, blah, blah. We'll see because I'm really into like Lip Tree or Lip Tree. <laughs> Um, tea tree lip gloss or chapsticks because those ones always work really well for my lips and I love the tingling sensation and it does moisturize my lips really well so I'm excited to try which one ever smells the best. So I got those two and um, that's basically it from Ulta but I also did some per other purchases that I'm going to put in this as well. Uh, at Target I went and got a... Okay. Oh here it is. I went and got the complexion brush from e.l.f. and I needed this because I know these like little things in here never work. You don't want to use those for the powders, they suck. So I got this complexion brush, it was $3, it's the e.l.f. Uh, e.l.f. one. So that's going to go for my foundation. I got some acetone, that's exciting right? Acetone, 97 cents, it's steel. I only use acetone, I know it's so bad, but I really like acetone to take the colors off because I don't like the residue of the nail polish to be around my nail, and sometimes with regular nail polish, that's how it happens. I don't know why, but... <clears throat> I got this. I, I told you guys I only use Guy's deodorant. Well, I smelled this, I tried it, and I really, really like it. I really like uh, the smell of the Tropical Paradise. It looks like that. It's only like a dollar something, and it's uh, it says that they put a new formula for stronger protection. So maybe, you know, I know Suave is a really ghetto brand, but... I liked how it smells and it lasts, seems like, all day. It says 24 hour protection, but you never can trust those things, but I like how it smells. And it smells like tropical and it doesn't make me, at the end of the day, I still can smell the scent, you know, rather than my stinky pits, which I don't really get stinky pits. And then I got uh, this Sally Hansen Salon Manicure um, in the color Nude Now. I wonder if my camera focuses. I really don't know. It's not. But it's in the color new now. It's a really pretty natural color. And I think for fall, the natural is the best way to go with your nails. Or even if you, I mean, if you like natural, it's a good time to do natural. But look at the brush. I love the, here, I'll do a swatch for you guys on my nail. Ooh, I love it. With like two coats, it would be so pretty. But let me show you the brush. I love the brush. It's just like a flatter brush. Rather a big old, you know and brush but it's a five-in-one manicure so but that's what it looks like on my nail I really like that it's really pretty so we'll have to see what it looks like with two coats it just looks like like a shiny nudish naturally color so I got that and then two shirts I picked up as well I don't know if you guys have this store in wherever you live but it's called rainbow and every time I go there it's kind of cheaper shop but and dry that so it doesn't stick with me. Every time I go there, I always find something. I always find either a shirt, a skirt, and it's cheap. And I swear to you, like you, you know, you go to those like cheap, you know, like those shops that are like, I don't know, they're just they're like those little s boutiques that you know those clothes aren't gonna last very long. Rainbow actually does. I've had skirts that I've had for a year there, and they still last. And I found this shirt. I wasn't trying to spend like a buttload of money because I already spent like enough at Ulta. But um, I found this shirt at uh, Rainbow, and I loved the color. It just reminds me of a gr This is my favorite color of all time, if you guys know. Like My bathroom has sage in it, and so does my room. My room is sage. I love the color sage, and this really reminded me of sage, and um, ugh, I was so excited. It was only $6.99, and uh, it's got these cute little button details on the sleeve. You guys can see that. So I really was really excited because I love this color. It's my favorite color of all time. Plain shirts. I am really plain when it comes to like day to day basis clothing. And then at TJ Maxx, I picked up this. I love this brand. It's called Ziana Ziana Outfitters. Oh, the material feels so good. And it's like this really lilac purple shirt. It was only six bucks, six ninety nine too. And um, you can start wearing long sleeves in the fall, which I love long sleeves. I think it like makes you look skinnier for some reason because it's like lengthening in your arm. I don't know. 
So I got this shirt. The material is so yummy. I love it. And um, I think this is like a fallish color, like a fallish purple. It's like a dark, but not a like. Uh, what's the color? Like a light purple. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm tired. It's late. Don't judge me. <laughs> so yeah, I got this. And um, that basically completes my full haul. Uh, I know it's not that exciting, but hey, it's like some of the stuff that I got I'm really excited to try. And um, the last two things I got were for my boyfriend because I've been so going to make him chocolate curry pretzels. Uh, by the way, if you don't know, Snyder is the best pretzel. Goodbye. So, this is his favorite indulgence, and he always begs me to make them, and I like. Sometimes I do, and then I'll forget, and I'll put them in the fridge, and I'll forget to bring them to him. They'll be like five days old, so I'm going to make them at his house. But yeah, I bought some pretzel junk. Anyways, uh, thanks so much for watching. Next up will be my September favorites, and um, I love you guys. Bye.